Yo, what's happening, fam? L.A. All Move is still moving. Book and title. Lesson from a non-custodial father. Amazon Kindle. Create space. Only children get unconditional love. Video inspired by my dad. Um, people are out here looking for unconditional love. Not understanding that, you know, everything with adults is conditioned. I don't care if, if you're married. Why do you get divorced? Because you broke some of the conditions. When you fall in love with people, why do you fall out of love with them? Because they broke some of the conditions of your love. But who receives unconditional love? Children, parent to child, that's, that's, that's pretty much the only unconditional relationship uh, uh, as a norm. Because, you know, there are people who don't like their kids, but they're not the norm, you know. And parent to child is the only form of unconditional love, in my opinion, in, in my father's opinion also. Because you constantly make sacrifices. It's a thankless job. And to the point that your child might not love you unconditionally. A child's love to a parent is conditioned. It is what it is. You know, parent and child relationship is the only um, pure bond that we might have in this society. Because, like I said before, even if you get married to somebody, you don't necessarily, you, you're not necessarily tied with them to them or with them for life. To death do you part because people break up. Go their separate ways. People are unfaithful, you know. But your child is flesh of your flesh. You bonded. Through thick and thin, rich or poor, through sickness and in and health. To death do you part. You're not you're going to always be family, you know. So, at the end of the day, who are people making sacrifices for, you know? If your child disappoints you, you, don't, you, you can't say, you know what? I'm divorcing myself from you. I'm done with you. I'm sick of you. No, nah. you're not my kid no more. No, nah. can't do it. Can't do it. Don't love you no more. Mm -mm. Even if you try to do that, <laughs> you're still in some ways going to feel like you, you, you can't do it without suffering. There's no, there's no getting away scot-free. You know? And the crazy part about it is, I don't even care. You can love your sexual intimate partner. You don't love them like that. You just don't. And you can stop sleeping with them. You can forget them. Or, you know, you can see them in public and not remember. Did, is that who I think it is? No. But you ain't gonna, you, you're never gonna have that. Is that my kid? I don't know. Is that. Then I stopped talking to that kid about 20 years ago. I said, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? That is. Like, you're not going to do that. It's um the only unconditional relationship. Like, I'm trying to, to, to put up you know, different scenarios, but you can't. You know, I just can't come up with it. You know, and the crazy part about it is parent to child relationship can also involve somebody who adopts or who has to take care of who has to be responsible for somebody else's children. Once you take on the role of a parent, it's not about you. You know. You have to guide that child into adulthood. 
and you're going to fight with them. Because, see, that's the one thing about um, parent-child confrontation is you wouldn't get into it so this much or that much with a person that you love conditionally or didn't love at all. You know, as a parent, sometimes you just want to choke the shit out your kids. You're like, motherfucker, just, I just told you, motherfucking ass, I told you. But you got to let them go. You know what? Calm down, I'm going to get right back to you later. You know, I love you, but ooh. Boy, I want to choke the shit out you. I just want just give me just 20 good seconds. Just 20 good seconds. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but you're never going to stop loving. You got, you got children out here who achieve great things. And you got children out here who've done very horrible things. And their parents don't. Love them any more or less, you know. People who've changed the world, their parents are so proud. They love them. They rejoice. Person winds up being a murderer. Parents understand. But they don't they'll say, don't give my baby the chair because that's my child. I love that child. To, you know, you know. But parent will, you know, if a parent could go to hell for it because of a child's sins, I think they would. I think they would. But you're not going to see that with any other relationship. Like, you're not going to be standing at the pearly gates and Peter, you know, Peter just sits there and look at you. Look, this is, look. Your, your ex-wife is going to hell for her transgressions. But we're going to give you the choice of, you know, you can go to hell for her and let her live and all this miraculousness of heaven. People be like, see you, lady. I got nothing to do with that. I'm getting in heaven, Peter. I'm getting in heaven. So, because you're telling me I'm trading my heaven, I would trade heaven to, for, for for her hell. Like, I'm going to hell for her, for my heaven. I don't know if I'm going to do that, Peter. I'm going to do that. No, I mean, I never, I, hey, hey, we, we over. We was divorced. You know, it wasn't until death do us part. She left me. I was still living 25 years later. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I can't really be with her like that. I mean, she on her own. Why you can't ask none of her other boyfriends? I wasn't her last. <laughs> Vice versa, you know, their, their wives would be like their for ex husbands Need to tell that bitch he left me for, <laughs> to see, to trade heaven for hell. You know, ask her bitch ass. That side piece, you know. But as a parent for the child, be like, man, damn, I had, I had made it too. I made it. Damn, boy, Peter, let me holler at you for a second. Give me a, give me a, 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 a angelic biblical belt so I can whip the shit out of this kid before I go to hell for him. Cause I just want them to feel my wrath real quick, like you know, while they sitting there. Kicking back eating Garrett's popcorn and my love seat in heaven while I'm in hell because of them. You know, just sacrifices. Parents make all kinds of sacrifices. Now I gotta go chill with the demons and shit laughing. Yo, kid, you here for your kid? Your kid ain't shit, you know. Ha! Yeah, we're gonna bite you on your neck because of your kid. Ha ha! Like, you know, I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping. You know what? I'm gonna finish listening to Fire and Desire and I'm gonna get out of here. Get it to me. Tina, go ahead. All right, we out, we out.